typical treatment for sciatica, one, we've got to get irritation off of the nerves. Many times that's a misalignment of the vertebrae. Um, when they get, when the vertebrae, they should be all stacked up nice and easy like a Rubik's cube. But if the, the pieces of the cube get twisted a little bit, that's our vertebrae. And that closes down on the areas where the nerves exit the spine. So first line of, of attack is to line up those vertebrae. And that opens up those joint spaces where the nerves exit. So um, that's the first thing is adjustment. Another issue that can happen is the discs will actually get bulging. We've heard of bulging discs um, or thinning discs. So another analogy is plates with a sponge between them. The plates are our vertebrae and the sponge is our disc. If it's full of water and hydrated and in a really good position, there's sponginess on the plates and that's like a shock absorber. If you press too hard on one side of the plate, that can squish the sponge out in one direction. That's a bulging disc. That bulge actually irritates the nerve, causing those referred symptoms down the leg. So if there's a bulging disc, um, we can do things like decompression traction. And what that is, is a, it's, it's traction of the low back, but it's intermittent. So we pull and relax, pull and relax. What that does is levels out if the plates are tilted and there's bulging this way. If we pull, we can level out the plates, creating more equal pressure on the disc. And then that bulge can be sucked in and uh, return to normal. So that alleviates that irritation of those discs. Over time, as we age, our discs get thinner and less full of water. They get dehydrated. So doing that decompression will actually pump water into the discs, into the sponges, rehydrate them. And if you if you've seen an old crusty sponge, it's it's shrunken and crevice and all that, but if you put water on it, it almost restores to look almost normal. Um, so decompression does that to our discs as well. Other treatments relating to sciatica, we can do um, we can do electrotherapies. We have electric uh, electric stimulation that's four pads that stick on your back. Everybody's usually heard of a TENS unit, so um, it's much like that. It's a little bit different frequencies and some science behind it, but um, that will help increase circulation, increase healing of the soft tissue, can also help decrease the inflammation. So that helps give relief there. I love to coach people in simple, effective exercises or even stretches that you can do at work. So um, I can coach people in a just to do five minutes of stretching every hour um, should really help alleviate a lot of that chronic stuff that's going on in the low back.